Alright, so today I'm starting off with two snappers. What I like to do is have it in a bowl, in the sink, add a little cold water to it. Not too much, just a little bit. Put some vinegar in the water. Get you a lime. And sour orange. All right, so when you get your fish from the market, I'm lucky to go to a um, fish market where they actually clean the fish really well. So normally there'd be like fins up here that you would need to take off. Either you could use like shears, scissors, or if you don't have scissors, you can just get under it with your knife. And even though they scale your fish at the market, when you get home, you're still going to be left with a couple of scales on there. So you need to go on an upward motion and scale your fish. Like I said, my, my market is really good, so there's not many scales on here. Make sure you get under here, because under here is where they normally forget some scales. So you get there. You scale it. See, some scales came off of there. Now, the important part, cleaning under here. First thing I do is, I go right up under the mouth. You see these right here? This needs to come off right here. So the easiest way to get that off is to stick your knife right under there. You put, put, you poke a hole right there. Then all you gotta do is just pull it back. See, and that comes out. Never cook your fish with this on there. Now, you get in here. Like I said, they clean it very well where I go. Normally there's like a little stomach lining right here that you wanna get rid of. There's a little bit left still here. So I'm gonna go in there. Try to get as much of that out. All right, so when you're done cleaning the inside of there, take your, your line. Clean your fish real good. I remember the first time I tried to make snapper, probably like 12 or 13. My mom had a bunch of snappers in the freezer and I was like, bump it, I wanna make some snapper. So I went and made it not knowing how to clean it correctly. Man, I didn't scale it. <laughs> I didn't take that little piece up under the mouth out. My mom got home, I was like, y'all made snapper for us here. She would not touch it at all because she said it wasn't clean properly. So you gotta make sure your fish is clean properly or else you're gonna have that real fishy smell and fishy taste. You don't want your fish stinking. Not, it's not hard at all. It's not hard at all. Like, I'm pretty much almost done. Now, you're done. For seasoning purposes, I like to put two slits. Right down here. One thing that I noticed, Haitians do two slits like this. And I noticed that Jamaicans, all my Jamaican friends, they just slid it right down the middle. I mean, pretty much it's the same thing. I mean, it is the same thing. It's just we put slits in it differently. But this is how I like to do it. Now, add a little bit more water. And you can let it sit in this for like 10 minutes. You got your lemon, your lime juice, you got your sour orange juice in here. So after 10 minutes of letting this fish sit, just rinse it off.
dish is clean now. Now your next step is just a seasoning. You already know how I season my fish. You gotta add a little bit of um a little bit of it piece, you know, my homemade green seasoning, a little salt, a little adobo, and then you're done. This is how you clean your red snapper. Alright, so in future videos, I'm going to show you exactly what to do with it. You know, whether you want to stew it or make poisson go sel, or if you want to fry it. There's so many different things you can do with the snapper. But this is the basics. I got to teach you guys the basics on how to do everything so that we can graduate to the uh, more advanced, more complicated things. Alright?